Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It is a blessing to be here, and um, a couple of quick introductions to make sure that I, I don't forget anything. I've got staff around to make sure that they keep me on, my, on the uh, straight and narrow. We're fortunate. We have a number of people here, and as I look at my list, we have our Jackson County Executive, Frank White, is here. And we also have Jackson County Sheriff, Mr. Forte, is also here. And we have a Jackson County Legislator who also is a Grandview High School graduate, Mr. McGee, is here. Also, we have a number of other people here. Um, I don't know if you are aware, but the Mid-America Regional Council's Executive Director is here, and that's Mr. David Warren. So, uh, and then we have a number of mayors that we tend to run around with, and we see each other <laughs> at different events, and, and we help each other out. It says, hey, this is going on in my city, and so, well, this is what I'm doing in my city, and it helps everybody out. And Mr. Good Bill Baird of Lee Summit is here. We also have Mr. Maganu of Raytown is also here. And also the Mayor Webb of Oak Grove is also here. So we are fortunate in many ways of having a number of people here. And as we look around, we've got our municipal judge, who you heard from already, but Judge Ronald Johnson is here as well. Thank you. You know, I'm, I'm fortunate and blessed that we have a city administrator in Jamal Gangor, and he is here. Uh, he's, he's back. Jamal remains standing. He's here, but just for the record, I've been told many times that, unfortunately, I speak with him more than I do with my wife. So <laughs> it is amazing how many calls come back and forth, and mayor this, mayor that, and don't forget whatever. So he's given me a list of things not to forget. So if I forget something, I'm sure I would hear from him. We're fortunate we have a number of city employees here. Would all the city employees stand up? Because I want to recognize all of you. Thank all of you for what you do and what you have been doing. So you guys have blessed us richly, and we see the sign building up Grandview is because of you. So we say thank you and hats off to you guys. And, you know, I'll be remiss if I did not thank Miss Valerie Poindexter, who... You guys don't see her because she's always in the background, but you see her videos, you hear her speeches and everything else. Miss Valerie is in the back. Valerie, thank you very much. And thank you to the Grandview Chamber of Commerce, Liz and Chelsea, would you stand? Please stand. So thank you for hosting today's luncheon and working with Peterson Manufacturing to allow the city of Grandview the opportunity to shine inside a one-of-a-kind Omicost Museum. I am grateful to a number of people for allowing this to happen. Uh, Don Omicost, Dave Omicost, we have Kristen Goodson in the back, we have Priscilla, please stand Priscilla and wave. Priscilla, okay. We have Chris in the back. Chris, Stan, and Wade, thank you. We are grateful for them to allow us to be here to celebrate Grandview in this beautiful location. Next year would be Peterson's 80th year in Grandview. During that time, the Amacosts have grown the small business into a corporation serving customers worldwide. Peterson Manufacturing is consistently ranked as a top 10 manufacturer in the Kansas City metropolitan area. And in 2013, it took the top spot in Grandview's largest employer. The Amacost family is involved with the Grandview Chamber, 
the Grandview Assistance Program and, and offer their support sponsoring events and backing many services and local businesses within Grandview. In short, Pizza Manufacturing is a part of our community and having them in Grandview is truly an honor and a blessing. So I wish them continued success. Thank you. This is my 10th year as mayor of Grandview and serving the people of Grandview has truly been one of the greatest blessings of a lifetime and a commitment that I take to heart. I know the Grandview Board of Aldermen feel the same. We work with each other and in times of disagreement, and we do have them, we work through it because we all share a common goal, and that is serving the people of Grandview to make the best decision to help us move the city forward. As I call your name, please remain standing. Representing Ward 1 in Grandview are Damon Randolph and Sandra Jones. Representing Ward 2 is Dan Hartman and Irene Kendrick. And representing Ward 3 is John Maloney and Thomas Rousey. This is your Grandview Board of Aldermen. Thank you. Every year, the Grandview Board of Aldermen and I choose a very important person to receive the Civic Leadership Award. Our 2023 winner served in the United States Navy during World War II on the USS Alabama. After the war, he settled in Grandview in 1949 with his wife. Ben and Betty Teven raised their three children here in Grandview. Mr. Stevens takes pride in his yard, and he is a favorite among those in the community. The U.S. Navy War II, World War II veteran Ben Teven is the winner of Grandview's 2023 Civic Leadership Award. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chief. During the week of March 7, 2020, my family and I were in Mobile, Alabama, and we had an opportunity to tour the USS Alabama. However, next month, Chief Baldwin and Mr. Chief are going to Mobile, Alabama, and when Mr. Chief crosses the deck, at the USS Alabama. That is going to be a homecoming for him because he's been on that ship many, many times before. Mr. Chiefman is one of only four sailors still alive that served on the USS Alabama during World War II. So his going home to look at that ship again is pretty monumental, and thank you to Chief Baldwin for being willing to uh, assist in making that happen. So what a blessing that is. Mr. Teton will also be on the Harry Haydays Grand Marshal, which is the first weekend in May. So he's going he's gonna to have an opportunity to wave at many people as he being the Grand Marshal on the Harry Haydays Parade. So we're looking forward to that. Mr. Teven has been willing to tell me stories about when he first moved to Grandview. He would hunt rabbit for dinner because he was surrounded by nothing but open land. Look how we have done over those years. Today's Grandview took years of hard work, stable leadership, and smart investments in the right projects. The city ranks as one of the fastest growing in the Kansas City metropolitan area. Our historic Main Street is bustling with shops and popular restaurants, including Housewife, which is 
one of the bistros recognized every year for being one of the best. And I might add that their favorite meal is called the mayor. <laughs> Try it out. In the Kansas City Star Contest, Grand View Farmers Market is a best farmers market nominee. Construction crews are wrapping up dozens of new houses while housing developers are buying up land with plans to bring even more rooftops to Grandview. The city of Grandview has $21 million in no tax increase bond projects either completed or underway, including the 5.3 million renovations to City Hall and the police department. The best part of all the growth is our finances are strong and solid. City budgets keep growing and so do our general fund reserves. The city market's value is growing at a rapid pace. Most importantly, even though we've issued bonds, Grandviews has managed to keep its debt as one of the lowest into the metropolitan areas, which is an a testament to what we're doing, and we have a strong AA- minus credit rating. Our staff has done an amazing job and continue to do an amazing job. And I want to stop and thank um, Jamal Van Gore and Kirk Decker, would you stand? You guys have been instrumental. And I must, I must add, for us to continue to maintain a double A minus with all the projects that we've got going on, even though we have no tax increase bonds that are being processed, this is an amazing, amazing compliment and I think for us to continue down this road, you two have been superb, and we thank you for what you're doing. Appreciate it. Whether it's our finances, streets, construction, restaurant, population, or housing, we are always working at building up grandeur. I mean, we're cooking with fire here. Oh, we are tremendously excited. It's almost like Grandview's kind of having a moment right now. And you're here for it. 2023 kicked off with Grandview making the Kansas City Business Journal list of fastest growing cities in the metro. We saw another year of tremendous growth here in Grandview. The new $9 million Express Car Wash headquarters and showroom opened in the last lot of the now fully built out South Point Business Park. Express Car Wash is another big one, a big, huge, it's like a 100,000 square foot facility. On Blue Ridge, an all new Dutch Bros is now open and keeping the city fueled for more work ahead. Like making sure the brand new Whataburger location along I-49 is ready to open to customers this spring. Eat them up. Yeah, we are very excited to welcome Whataburger here to Grandview, especially since it will be one actually owned by Patrick Mahomes. Uh, and they have said that working with Grandview has been one of the easiest cities that they've had to work with. Existing Grandview businesses made some major expansions, like the Chive and Transparent Brewing Company, adding a 3,200 square foot event space. But there's been enough growth and development over recent years that it's sort of become a catalyst and other people are seeing that and seeing businesses succeed and new housing developments go in and it's really kind of encouraged other people I think to take a closer look at Grandview. Take a closer look off Highway 150 and you'll see what's going up. It's an all new neighborhood. We also saw over 200 new housing units being approved uh, over this past year. Housing means more residents, more residents means more customers in our businesses, more students in our school system. Grandview C4 School District is ready for them. The district made history in 2021 by winning voter approval for $45 million in bond projects. Today, those dollars have touched every school in the district. We were able to do a brand new gymnasium over in Martin City, being able to expand and enhance all of our playgrounds and all of our elementary schools. But then you also look at our high school and being able to truly make a difference in the day in, day out, everyday lives of our students. Three, two, one. All right. The city also got cracking on $21 million of bond projects of its own. 
Starting last summer, crews began rehabbing neighborhood streets, the first of three years of new curbs, sidewalks, and resurfacing. Uh, it feels good. We restored 34 streets. We resurfaced about uh, 14 lane miles within the city. Fast improvement for the residential streets. We're spending a little over $7 million on street resurfacing. So 2023, we got one third of that done. The three years, the $7 million, we should resurface anywhere from 20 to 30% of all the streets within the city of Grandview. In November, work started on two simultaneous construction projects. Great. All right. The golden shovels came out for the groundbreaking of an expansion at fire station number two, featuring expanded living space to make room for a growing fire department. Um, it's going to be followed up in 2024 by station number three. This is going to set up the city of Grandview for expansion of the fire service for the next 30 years. We'll be able to house up to 18 firefighters. That same morning, Construction got started on $700,000 worth of renovations to transform a building on 1102 Main Street into the all-new Grandview DMV. And we repurposed the building, refreshed it, completely rebuilt it, and created a brand new uh, facility. And it's even greater than I thought it would be. And this is a model for yeah. the other 173 licensed offices in the state of Missouri. I've heard this several times from several different people. The best DMV in Missouri is located in Grandview. Once the DMV opened its doors, crews were free to move on to the biggest bond project renovation, the $5.3 million makeover of Grandview City Hall and Police Department started off with a bang. Wall breaking ceremony was epic. Okay, uh, quite the project. City Hall really hasn't been updated since it was built in, in the 1970s. And so we really focused on utilization of space so that we didn't have to expand City Hall and that we could be able to accommodate future growth. But we really did pretty much a clean sweep of the City Hall Police Department uh, floor. And I think all in all, everybody is settled in for the next year until we return home to our renovated City Hall. With $21 million in bond projects, Grandview leaders are committed to long-term financial stability and growing the city responsibly. Sustainable growth is city's bread and butter. Since 2016, the market value of the city has nearly doubled from about $1.1 billion to nearly $2.2 billion all while Grandview continues to have one of the lowest debt per capita ratios in the metro area. That amount of growth is also reflected in the city's budget, including the addition of more dollars into the city's general fund reserves. Six years ago, our budget was about 30 plus million dollars. Today, that number is almost 64, 65 million dollars. So we doubled our budget in, um, in five, six years. This growth is allowing Grandview to take its quality services and customer service to a whole new level. From permits to police, city staff is working smarter by leaning into technology. We want it to be a leader rather than a laggard. Citizens now have the opportunity to get issued permits and make payments through an online portal on the city's website. Uh, the flock cameras are cameras that are strategically placed throughout the city. They are able to analyze license plates as they pass and they are run through a database for any wanted vehicles and we can also access that database to search for vehicles that we're looking for in related crimes. The flock cameras and, and the technology um, has really helped us kind of focus in more on problem areas so that we're able to address those issues as they come up because we're seeing them quicker. We were able to create a new position with a Heart of America Criminal Forensic Laboratory because they will do analysis on cell phone data, all digital equipment, whether it's computers, cell phones. A grant for new technology integrating with nature led the Missouri Department of Conservation to give Grandview its 2023 Arbor Award of Excellence. 
We received a trim grant from the Missouri Department of Conservation for the last three or four years. It's given us uh, well over $100,000 to do new trees, arbor software and tree keeper software for tree inventories. All the work we've done with trimming trees and planting new and taking down dangerous trees all led us to be a, what, what I call a tree first city. And speaking of awards, Grandview's largest infrastructure project in city history is also the most honored, the $15 million I-49 Outer Roads conversion to two-way traffic project has been awarded six times over this year and counting. And this is not only coming from business journals of the world, huge engineering organizations. This is coming from national um, organizations that are watching out for these type of um, projects that transforms on people's lives. With a rich history and diversity rich community, Grandview is putting its stamp on the region. Last summer, new signs were installed in all 14 city parks, while on Main Street, an eye-catching mural, the city's first, went up on the future home of the DMV. The community chose the colorful piece as the winner, paid for thanks to a grant from Arts KC. So it gets a lot of attention. Anytime somebody comes into town, goes right down Main Street, you see that big, beautiful mural right on, on the side of that wall. So it brings visitors into town. It's one thing that people notice and remember when they come to Grandview. Main Street is also taking flight as a stop along the Butterfly Highway. Last spring, the city horticulturist added milkweed to the existing native plant life and transformed a one-mile stretch of Main Street into a certified Monarch Way Station. We have flowers flowering, you know, anywhere from April all the way through September up on Main Street just to make it look a little bit more beautiful. But an added benefit to that is we also create Monarch habitat. You know, it provides them food, it provides them a place to uh, reproduce. It, while they're traveling and migrating, it's a, it's a stopover place for them. So when the Parade of Hearts auctioned off a monarch butterfly, it landed on Grandview's Main Street, and hearts were aflutter. Of course, at the heart of everything we do is the people. Our residents, our businesses, and our staff all working together for a stronger community. So everybody here really wants to be here, and everybody wants to see Grandview succeed and wants to work really hard to make Grandview the best place it can be for everyone who lives and works here. In a city that's changing continuously, it's really important to celebrate successes. Sometimes we go so quickly that we don't even realize what we've done. And so we really want to look back and see how far we've come. The work doesn't stop when you're building up Grandview. It's, it's fun to see the momentum that the city has now. And I think it's really setting us up for, for the future. This year we're going 120 miles an hour with our hair and fire and we're not slowing down. I keep going, I keep going. Once again, thank you to Valerie for putting that together. Thank you for our outstanding actors and actresses. <laughs> you guys are superb. Thank you very much. You know, we're talking about building up Grandview. And I just want to take a moment to introduce my, my family. My wife, Michelle Jones, is sitting right here. And when it comes to building up Grandview, I mean, she's not elected. <laughs> She's not employed by the city, but it's good to have those that are in the city that are interested in doing everything they can to build up Grandview, and we continue to push that message, so I'm grateful for that. And our oldest daughter is here. Kenyon is here as well, and uh, Grandview High School graduate, and we are grateful for her to, again, help build up Grandview, and that's what we should be doing. Thank you very much. I also believe it's important to show everyone exactly how we are working to build up Grandview. When the $21 million no tax increase bond package passed in April of 2022, all three questions passed with more than 80% approval. I've got mayors here. I think you would say getting 80% approval is pretty awesome. We had all three questions on the ballot and they all three passed with more than 80% approval. 
with that overwhelming approval comes trust. Voters have placed their trust in us to deliver on the project and deliver on our promises, and that's exactly what I intend to do. The momentum continues into 2024. Right now, construction crews are at work of over $6 million in bond package renovation projects at City Hall and the police department and fire stations. A year from now, at the next State of the City address, we will have a brand new City Hall and police department, and I am excited about that. That is gonna be encouraging for us as a city, for sure. Grandview Streets are receiving the most bond dollars. This summer, Grandview will invest in nearly $3.5 million in resurfacing 30 neighborhood streets. Next summer, we will resurface even more streets so that when all the budgeted bond dollars are actually spent, we will have invested 25 to 30% of all city streets and they will be brand new. Grandview is further revitalizing Main Street with an expansion of improvements to include even more businesses. This $1 million project will head west on Main Street from 7th Street to 3rd Street. The project will include more street lights, wider sidewalks for tables and chairs, more on-street parking spaces, and landscape items. A significant overhaul of a major commercial artery will soon become Grandview's largest infrastructure project in city history. We will improve the entire stretch of Blue Ridge Boulevard from east to west within the Grandview city limits. This is an over $20 million of investment in progress. Staff and I have been working the last 18 months to secure $19 million in federal earmarks, <coughs> federal and state grants, private funds to pay for this project, as well as city funds. And this includes a brand new Canadian Pacific Kansas City Railroad Bridge. And I will be remiss if I don't recognize Congressman Cleaver was instrumental in securing funds for this. And Andrew's here representing Congressman Cleaver. So Andrew, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Recent inflation and increased rise in construction costs has once again put us in a spot where we are seeking additional finances to allow us to complete this project. A significant piece of Grandview history is along Blue Ridge Boulevard and is getting some much needed attention. The National Park Service will be performing critical repairs to the Truman Farm Home. This project is expected to begin in May and ensures the family farm home of President Harry Truman will stand strong and inspire generations to come. When you invest in infrastructure, private investment follows. In about two weeks, we'll be cutting the ribbon on a Patrick Mahomes own water burger. On Main Street, a new barbecue joint open, and we're expecting a high-end coffee shop and a Mexican restaurant, get this, with a 24-hour drive through <laughs> What excites me the most is when I see housing. For some years, Grandview had zero single-family home permits. Now, we're seeing new neighborhoods, exciting neighborhoods being built out, and housing developers buying up land with a vision of creating the new next neighborhood. When we think about all that has gone on, again, without school districts, we also have Hickman Mills C1 School District. They actually sought and received a significant bond package of $20 million. They also are achieving goals detailed in their comprehensive strategic improvement plan. Last week, Grandview voters approved a 50 million dollar no tax increase bond for renovations and additional technologies. 
It's the largest bond passing Randview School District history. That's $95 million in bond passed in Grandview School District since 2021. Grandview C4 School District Superintendent Dr. Kenny Rodriguez is leading the way. He truly believes in his schools and puts programs in place that ensures all students can find a path for their own future. For his work, Dr. Kenny Rodriguez was named 2024 Missouri Superintendent of the Year. Congratulations, <laughs> Dr. Rodriguez. With school and city bond projects, city infrastructure investments, and private projects, Grandview could see between 50 and $70 million in construction projects this year. That's amazing all by itself. That gives you an idea of just how much Grandview is building and growing. When you build and grow this fast, so do strategies of keeping people safe. Public safety is always top of mind. This year, Rediscover co-responders currently working with the Grandview Police Department will begin working with the Grandview Fire Department. Police officers will also be receiving new wearable technology that syncs their body cameras with their cruisers' dash cams. A new one-of-a-kind ladder truck will start making its way to Grandview Fire Department this fall, and we cannot wait for everyone to look at the new truck. It will be one of only one in the Kansas City metropolitan area. But it marks a very important milestone. 2024 marks 100 years of service for the Grandview Fire Department. An amazing accomplishment, and we're grateful for their commitment and their service to Grandview. Look around Grandview, you can see lives being impacted by growth and progress. On a beautiful day, which is every day in Grandview. <laughs> you can find a packed Tails and Trails dog park. More people are enjoying a walk down Byers Road for exercise or on Main Street to sit outside and have ice cream or eat lunch. Every month, our parks and trails see thousands of people, our police officers perform multiple checks. Bringing new projects and taking pride in Grandview services are improving the quality of life for Grandview residents and businesses. Grandview is growing into everything we always believed it could be. We will continue building up Grandview. God bless Grandview.